some, some inconsistencies in everybody's um, performances and you get that with that's the naivety of youth I think uh, everybody at some point in their career has had a bit of a hiding like we've suffered today and that is how we react to that and how we how we learn from it and uh, as I said it's, it's a massive step up for some boys who are coming out of college rugby it's also the likes of, of Hemi who I thought had a good impact off the bench and coming out of premiership rugby and stepping into that so we've struggled at times in the British and Irish Cup this year and the LV is a further step up again and uh, extra have got a bigger squad and bigger budget and um, so it was a great occasion for the boys and the first time a lot of them will have experienced that but um, we, we, we can't make excuses we, a lot of what we uh, produced today was, was naive and, and, uh, and, uh, and poor at times and we, we say we, we, we're, we're better than what we showed and some of the players are better individually than, than what they showed out there as well but uh, it was a tough, tough day Losing Jared was huge it's the opportunity that he'd been waiting for um, he's somebody who um, we felt could have potentially um, got to grips with this game and and uh, as I said, we, the way we flew out of the blocks early on and uh, we, we, to get that 10-0 lead was, we justified our, our early indications. But um, yeah, it's huge to lose him. And so Ben came on and he's got, obviously got some clear work on. Uh, but um, I thought, again, Ben showed some lovely touches, a couple of nice line breaks. And you can tell that uh, he's only just turned 18, that uh, if we keep nurturing and working hard with him, then he's got, he's got um, a, a future as, a, as an outside half. But uh, yeah, losing Jared was a huge, huge blow to us. Uh, he's got a facial injury and he's currently being checked over down in the hospital. Yeah, I think that, I think the plan the plan was to uh, give an opportunity to some um, some couple of senior boys, but only probably three or four during the course of the Ospreys week. So it'll be it'll be a pretty much a similar group again, and we go into a five day turnaround. But it's probably for me just the, the exact fixture that we need. Um, we have, it's a local Welsh derby at home. We haven't played the Ospreys at home for a long time because we normally play them in the Millennium Stadium in the, in the double header. So a chance to get them at, at home on our pitch and uh, everything's against us. Um, but let's see what we're what we're like under a little bit of, 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 of adversity.